Welcome to Foul Academy. VO 3.1 just dropped on Foul, and in this video I'll be giving a quick rundown on all the new endpoints and how to use them best. Jumping straight in, we're now at the VO 3.1 Reference to Video Playground page. Now, Reference to Video is not something we ever saw with VO 3, so let me walk you through this. For the inputs, we can have up to three images. Now, each of these images are one of our references. So you can see in this example, in the video, the video is using the ballerina from this image, with flowers from this meadow image, and a background circus tent from this image. The text prompt is guiding the model onto how to combine these images together. For the additional settings, the video duration can only be 8 seconds long, the resolution can be either 720 or 1080p, and there's also a generate audio toggle. If this is turned on, then there'll be audio in the final video, but it's twice as expensive as without audio. So it's 40 cents per second with audio on, and 20 cents per second with audio off. This is very powerful, because now it means we have way greater controllability of our scenes. So let's go through another example. I'll just remove these three images, and I'll drag in these. So we have this birthday cake, this old man, and this family album. And the prompt we'll use will be this one. So I've said, an elderly man's face lights up with surprise as his family presents a birthday cake beside the family album on the table. Warm lighting fills the room, gentle piano music plays softly in the background, he gasps and says with emotion, you remembered. And then I'll just change the resolution to 1080p and then we can run this. So after about a minute and a half, this is the result we get. You, you remembered. If you remember the images, then it's actually depicted the old man, the birthday cake, and this photo album exactly as they appeared in the images. And it even gave us this really nice cut. You... You remembered. The next endpoint is VO 3.1 first and last frame to video. And this is also something new, so let's go through it. This is almost like an extension of image to video, because instead of just having a first frame, we have a first frame and a last frame. And what will happen is that through the guidance of the text prompt, the model will interpolate between the two frames. So let's go through an example now. For the first image, I will have the image of this supercar speeding down a road. And for the end frame, I will have the car parked. And for the prompt, I'm going to try and make it so that the car drifts in the video and then ends at this final parked area. Don't worry about memorizing these prompts, I'll have them all in the video description. So for the additional settings, we can leave the aspect ratio on auto, resolution at 1080p, and then we can just run this. So here's the result we get. You can see it starts off at that first frame, and it should end with a car parked nicely. Awesome. The next endpoint is VO 3.1 image to video. Now this should be more familiar from VO 3. For the inputs, it's just an image, which is the start frame of our video, and a text prompt to guide the model. So let's go through an example. I'm going to paste in this prompt here. Again, this will be in the description. And for the image, I'll choose this one of a soldier running. We'll leave the aspect ratio on auto, and we'll just change the resolution to 1080p, and then we can run this. So here's the result of this one. Great, I mean, this would be perfect for an action scene, for example. Finally, we're on the VO 3.1 text to video endpoint. This is the simplest one because it just takes in a text prompt which guides the model, but it's also the least controllable compared to the others. There's also a couple of additional settings here which I'll go through. So in the negative prompt, this is where we put ideas that we don't want to see in the output video. So for example, if we want the output video to be very realistic, then we'd put something like cartoon here. Enhanced prompt just means that an LLM will improve your prompt, so we'll leave that. Auto fix just means that if your prompt gets moderated, then it'll automatically attempt to fix it. The resolution will have at 1080p and generate audio is also the same, so let's close these. And let's go through this example with this prompt here. So I've said, cinematic dynamic scene starting close to the face of a man driving a minimalist vintage car and then zooming into the gear stick to show him changing gears, high speed. And let's try running this. So here's our result for this one. Another important thing is that all of the endpoints, except reference to video, have fast versions. So the fast version will generate the video in less than 60 seconds compared to the normal version, which usually takes about a minute and a half. And also the cost of the video generation is about half of the normal model. Now, for the developers watching, every model page comes with its own API page, which provides step-by-step -step instructions on how to integrate these models into your platform using the file API. To get your API key from the homepage, you should go on to Manage, API Keys, 
click on add key, give a brief description of what the key is for, and then create the key. Make sure you save it here because it'll only show it once and then it won't show it again. To show how easy it is to integrate VO3.1 with Foul, I built this demo app called Visual Recipe Lab. The idea is that you can generate up to three images with Seadream V4 and then use VO's reference to video to combine them all into one scene. So in this case, I've generated a robot, a toaster, and a magical castle. Now I just describe how they interact. We can also enhance the prompt using Foul's video prompt generator. Hit generate and VO creates a video with all three. Technically, it's just three Next.js API routes calling file subscribe. If you want to check it out or build something similar, the GitHub link is in the description. That's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Please leave any video ideas or questions you might have in the comments and don't forget to check the description for the important links. For now, I'll catch you in the next one.